In half an hour on Dream Themes TV, two teams of celebrities go head-to-head in our brand new quiz show, Hard Hat, Floppy Hat. But first, who's this driving down Biff Byford Street? An unexpected visitor is calling in tonight's Thames Meard. Previously on Thamesmeard. Could you go in Do you know what you're going to call him yet? I've already called him. I've called him Ali. Oh, Ali! Ali! Hello, Ali! Corfu! What do you mean, Corfu? Yeah, I think it's going to be a big year for you, lads. Yeah? I think we should do a West End musical based on TV themes. What? What on earth makes you think that that's a good idea? Well, I went to see that hush-hush, eye-to-eye, the Lamar story in the West End. Time Out thought it was invigorating, and so did I. Good night, little baby, Ali. Your daddy's coming soon, you'll be able to see him. That's right, your daddy. You say, air thrice the sun done, salutation to the dawn. Can you claim these words as your own? Morning, Heidi. Morning, Gemma. Oh, someone's in a good mood. I don't know where you get the energy from. <laughs> There's nothing quite like a New Year's Day walk, is there? The bird life in its natural habitat of hectoseat in its environs is quite breathtaking. Quite breathtaking. Well, that sounds impressive. Well... Let's just say, I'm no ornithologist, but I'm fairly certain that I haven't a chance upon a fantastic pair of pendulant tits. Anyway, time for a cup of nettle tea, methinks, varaged by my own fair hands. Until later. There's a hole in the morning, it's the hole he was born in, now the old man is yawning. <laughs> All right, lads. Uh, yeah, I've been down to Whitfield's, got the old shopping. <laughs> Paul, I know you don't like buying carrier bags, but why don't you just get a bag for life? Mm. What are you doing? Rob is building a magic trick. Well, it's an illusion. I'm doing our geeks. It's in two parts. Ooh. So, like, Rob wants to do a tribute to Paul Daniels, but Dickie doesn't even know who that is. He thought it was that bloke off Quadrophenia. <laughs> that's, that's not true. I do know who he is. I just got muddled up. Anyway, wait till it's finished. You're going to like it. But not a lot. <laughs> yes, we will like it a lot. Well, do you know what? I'm looking forward to seeing you use your illusion. Parts one and two. Absolutely. Uh, poo. Is he, uh, is he saying poo? Chris? Oh, he's not saying anything. He's only a week old. Poo. Told you. Chris! Don't worry. He definitely likes you. He likes people with funny faces. Excuse me? Poo. So how are you coping? Do you have everything you need? I do. Everyone's been really kind. We've had loads of visitors. And I can't move for those baby onesie things. I, uh, notice you have a lot of, uh, cuddly bears out there. Well, yeah, it's like Yellowstone. I can't move for them. Oh, we went to Yellowstone once, didn't we, Chris? Yeah, don't remind me. Ooh. Yeah, we stayed with my aunts in Montana. Hmm. We visited the National Park as well. Oh, wow, sounds great. Well, not exactly. Chris got chased by a family of grizzly bears. What? Yeah, blame your aunt. What the hell happened? <sighs> we're staying with Jean's Auntie Patty. Mm -hmm. The day we're going into the park, Going to town, get myself a burger, because you know we don't get a decent meal once we're in there. Even though they have burger stalls in the park? Yeah, but we get back to Jean's auntie's. She's gone and made me a fish sandwich. A massive fish sandwich. I mean, the fish was so big, she had to fold it in half. Fold it in half? Fold it in half. So, I didn't want to offend Auntie Patty, uh, but I couldn't eat the sandwich. I was too full already. 
So uh, I just pretended to eat it, but put it in the uh, in the pocket of my jacket, which uh, was broken at the time. So it just stayed in there, in the lining. I didn't even know he'd done it until there was a family of bears following us around with their noses in the air. What happened? Well, I, uh, I don't want to go into it, but needless to say, I only had to buy a new coat. He had to buy this big park ranger coat thing from a souvenir shop. Called it his Yogi Bear coat. Didn't you, love? Yeah. <laughs> you two are so funny. Anyway, what's going on with you? When is the dishwasher reopening? Not for ages. I mean, they saved a lot of the furniture, but the whole place still stinks of smoke. Yeah, and the walls are as black as a goth. It's going to be weeks, months, years, if ever. Oh. Well, the police said it's definitely arson, so the insurance will cover everything. We can get a hotel! Mm. Think of it as an all expense paid holiday and get out of Sam and Heidi's hair. Oh, they're lovely, those girls, aren't they? So where's everybody drinking now? Um, the Human Ostrich, just down the end of Biff Byford Street. It's, uh, it's alright, nice decor, but the clientele, a bit young, a bit annoying. Well, it hasn't stopped you going there every day, has it, love? Isn't that where Bobby Ballistic does his pop quiz? Gene hates pub quizzes, though. Do you? I love a pub quiz. I wish I could go. Chris and I wouldn't mind looking after the baby for a couple of hours, would we, Chris? Oh. Oh, okay. oh, he's fine. He's just a bit hungry. He needs a feed. Come on, then, baby. Come on. Well, <coughs> places to be, ladies. So come on, Maria. Tell us who the dad is. You know what, Jean? You've got more chance of him telling you than me. <laughs> Where's Rodri and Rob? Oh, they're up in Rob's room watching that felonious monk documentary I was on last night. It was really good. Did you watch it? Nah, I don't really get felonious monk. It sounds like Les Dawson to me. Oh, here they come now. All right. All right. <laughs> so, Rob and I had an idea. How about I go up the travel centre this week and pick up some holiday brochures? Yeah, Any requests? <laughs> Butlins! Dicky, we're not going to go to Butlins. But I want to go to Butlins! Hey, Dicky, this is a tantrum. Remember, we spoke about this. Rob's right, and don't look at me. Butlins is for kids, and I'm at least 35. It's not fair! No, I hate you! He's so weird. But I'll make us all a nice furry bus. <laughs> what kind of a stupid name for a pub is a human ostrich anyway? It's ridiculous. I don't know, the one down our way is called the dishwasher, that's just as silly. Oh, that's ridiculous too. Here, so what's going on with that cafe anyway? Fenton tells me half of it was taken out in that pub fire. Oh, haven't I told you? Ian says he's going back to basics, whatever that means. He says he's going to open a greasy spoon. He says my job's safe anyway, so I'm not worried. He reckons that it was too clever for Thamesmere having a crisp themed cafe and that nobody got it. Oh, I certainly didn't get it. Crisps on a plate! What's all that about? I didn't get it and I worked there. Stupid, that's what it is. Stupid. Anyway, what happens now? I don't know, but here's Ian now, you can ask him yourself. Afternoon team, you're talking about me. Now it's me, just about to buy you a drink. Oh, no, no, no! You put your money away, Ian, I'll get this. Here, barman! I'll have um, my usual whiskey and milk, and um, these will have their usual as well. Anyway, Gemma, don't worry, I'm not here to talk shop. I just wanted to check how the revision's going for next, next week's quiz. I mean, I know Fenton's a bit of an expert on everything, but I still think we should be brushing up on our general knowledge. I don't know. I'm not very good at general knowledge. You realise that by saying you're not very good at general knowledge, you're saying that you don't generally know anything. Anyway, I'm hoping that you 
be able to help with pop music rounds. Yeah, I'm very good at pop music. I've got dozens of CDs at home and cassettes. We've got everything from I uh, like to teach the world to sing um, to that one about I can't feel my face and all the other ones. And um, and Dutty Wine Dance. Do you know what that is? No, I do. And I can do it. Anyway, Gemma, you in or out? Go on then. And Blanche, I don't think we're going to need you to be doing your ducky wine dancing. Dutty! Come on, Gemma. We'll go over it. Barman, can you bring the drinks over to us, please? So now you please. Oh, well, that's a nice welcome. Good to see you too, sis. <laughs>